Hi everyone. For this question, the continuous random variable t represents the time that students spend on homework. The cumulative distribution function, you can see this is our big F here, and our random variable is represented by the symbol of t, where k is a positive constant, show that k is equal to 16 over 27. So when we're doing continuous random variable, Bear in mind, we need to draw out the interval so that we can identify the interval with the probability correctly. For the first, t less than 0, which is 0, where interval 0 until 1.5, it will be k, 2t cubed minus 3t power 4. Then after more than 1.5, it will be equals to 1. So to show that, k is equals to 16 over 27 and then denoted here is cumulative distribution function which means that this probability has been accumulated start from 0 at the end maximum is 1 so therefore in cumulative distribution function the point of t equals to 0 and the point of t equals to 1.5 should be continuous and can be connected. So we can test for the first t value. When t equals to 0, left hand side coordinate have to be same as right hand side. So when we substitute this t equals to 0, notice that I get 0 k and then k is have been disappeared. When it's 0 times k, it gets 0. So which means that this t value for 0, it cannot help us to find. So we proceed to another t value that we can check here, is this, which is 1.5. So at this point, means your left-hand side graph and the right-hand side graph must be connected. So must be continuous. And then, so when the left-hand side, it will be k times 2 1.5 cubed minus 1.5 power 4. Then for the right hand side, it is the coordinate equals to 1. So we simplify here, this is 27 over 16k. So k is equal to 16 over 27. Alright, shown. Then for the question B, find the probability for the student spend more than one hour so the time is more than one hour and then we can see the time here also denoted in the same unit which is one hour so it should be in the value of more than one so when you want have a probability more than one and you want to find the probability using big f here cumulative distribution here so cumulative distribution always less than then will be our cumulative so when you want to get more than one means we accumulate up to maximum which is one then minus t1 f1 accumulate up to one so that we can get more than one so we substitute one into the interval here if the k is 16 over 27 Here we have 11 over 27. Then we come to part C. Find the probability density function of the t means small f of the t function. So to find this, we need to differentiate one by one. For the first interval, t less than 0 small function of t is differentiate respect to t for 0, which is 0. And then second interval. To find f t, probability density, 
we need to differentiate k 16 over 37 with the function 2t cubed minus t to the power of 4 16 over 27, I can factorize up. So to differentiate 2t cubed, power move to the front, power minus 1. Then we simplify this. When I factorize 2, it can become 32 over 27 and then when I factorize 2 here remaining 3 t square minus 2 t cube and then for the next interval will be t more than 1.5 so for the f small f here differentiate for the constant one, it gets zero. Therefore, probability density function it is having 32 over 27 t 3 t square minus 2 t cube for the interval zero until 1.5 included. Then for other result is zero, means this is for otherwise. Then we come to D, where expectation value for T is 0 0.9. Now I want to show that cumulative up to ET is equals to 4752. So ET is 0 0.9. So F 0 0.9. Substitute 0 0.9 into the function. So this is your big F, so you have to substitute into this formula. K, 16 over 37. And then, 2 T cubed minus T power 4. Then question E, a student is selected random. Given that the student spend more than the mean amount of the time on homework, find that the probability that the student spend more than one hour on the homework. So given that, so you have a conditional probability now you need to find your probability for the student span. So t more than 1. So given that conditional probability t more than mean. Mean which is e t. E t is more than 0. Point 9 so for conditional probability our formula is probability a given b equals to probability a intercept b over p b so for the timing more than one intersect the event more than 0, 09 over the probability for the second event which is t more than 0, 0.9 so for more than one intersect with more than 9 
So both events will give us the probability of the timing more than 1 over the timing more than 0 0.9. So for the timing more than 1, we already calculate. So probability t more than 1, it will be 11 over 27. Meanwhile, for the probability more than 0 0.9, so what we have is cumulative 0 0.9. This is less than. So if you want more than, mean 1 minus the cumulative of 0 0.9. So here we have our answer. Okay, now we go through what part is important for the first part to marks. So the concept of knowing the left hand side function equals to right hand side function is important so that you can get answer. Then for the B, here we have to find more than one, we have to use the formula of one minus cumulative 1 and substitute into the formula so that to get answer and then for the next one to find probability density function so to do that we need the concept of differentiation and then when we differentiate constant we get zero so this one is quite easy we directly go for the answer. Then we go for D. So substitute our formula in finding 0 F0.9 0 and then simplify to the final answer. Then lastly, for the conditional probability, So the first one is finding pt more than 0. Then the second one is finding pt more than 0 0.9. So that simplify to get final answer.